We're going to take a look at a whole new form of life today on RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. If you're a fan of art and internet videos, then you're probably familiar with Teo Janssen's Strand Beast, the artistic life forms that he started creating back in 1990. These creatures were made up of simple yellow plastic tubes and powered by the wind. Some of them even used elegant pneumatic systems to store energy and react to their environments. A few people have created versions of the Strand Beast over the years that you can buy, including an amazing 3D printed version, model kits, and even a few Lego versions. And now you can go to your local toy store and buy your very own radio controlled Strand Beast. This is one of the latest creations from Hexbugs, and it fits great in their line of biologically inspired micro robots. There's a large and a small version, and we're going to take a look at the large version today. It runs on three AAA batteries, and the transmitter uses a 9 volt. It works a little like a tank with two sets of legs that you control independently. It can walk forward at three different speeds, and it can walk backward at one fast speed. It can turn on a dime and is extremely precise, so it's great for your desktop. It's also very stable and level when it walks, so it can easily carry things around. It'll work on carpet and flat surfaces, but it doesn't like to climb over obstacles, and it probably wouldn't fare too well on the beach, but we didn't really have time to test that out. We did decide to modify ours so that we could use a rechargeable battery with it, because we went through a few AAA batteries pretty quickly. This is actually really easy to do, but if you want to try this modification, definitely try it at your own risk. You'll need a rechargeable battery, a battery charger, and a connector. You can use a standard 3.7 volt battery like the ones that Traxxas and Hubs and Quadrotors use. They sell them online for about 5 bucks. You can get a USB charger for the battery for about 3 to 5 bucks. And you can get the battery connectors for a few bucks. But if you can't find the battery connector, just do what I did. Take an extra USB charger and cut off the connector and you're ready to go. Just strip the wires on the connector, plug the battery in, and find out which wire is positive and which is negative. On this connector, the one with the white strip was positive. Then unplug the battery and connect the two wires to the battery terminals in the battery compartment. Make sure to put the positive battery on the positive plug and the negative battery on the negative plug. Then plug your battery back in and test it out. Now you could easily solder the wires to the battery terminal and carve out some of the battery compartment to make the rechargeable battery fit, but I didn't want to modify my Strand Beast, so I just taped some magnets to the wires and slapped the battery on the back of the robot. It actually worked out really well and was really easy to do. Altogether, I have to say, we had a lot of fun roaming around the floor with this newest incarnation of the Strand Beast that feeds on radio waves. Who knows what the future may hold? Maybe someday they'll roam around on their own. If you have a chance, definitely check it out. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more RC101 with the Taoist Flyer.